Hey guys, welcome back to another online content. Estamos aqui mais uma vez. And today we are going to be taking a look at lesson 23, pages 96 and 97. Careful driving. Ok. Todo mundo ok? Everybody good? Let's go. E o okay? que? Já sabem. Warning, go back and read your book. Se você não pegou o livro ainda, volta lá e pega o livro. Ok. Gente, né? Tem nem mais graça. Né? Né? Let's go. Today we will see listen, read and talk, write your own sentence, agree or disagree, listening practice and talk time. Beginning with listen, read and talk. Então vamos lá, prestando atenção aí, vamos ouvir juntos, tá? Let's go. Book 2, lesson 23. Listen, read and talk. On the highway. What's wrong with the car, dear? I think we have a flat tire, honey. Oh no, what bad luck. We'll have to stop and change the flat tire. After the tire has been changed. We can't go on without a spare, but I don't have any idea about where the next service station is. We'll soon find one down the road. About two miles up ahead. Hey, look! I see a service station over there. Slow down, please! While they're having the tire fixed. I'm terribly tired and hungry. So am I. Let's have something to eat and rest a little while. Very good. Yay! What's happening there? Conseguiram sacar o que está acontecendo aí, gente? Então, a gente tem aí o quê? A wife and a husband, right? So it's a couple. A gente tem uma mulher e um marido, né? And then they have a flat tire. Do you guys remember what a flat tire is? Já lembra aí, mais ou menos? Flat tire, o que, que é um pneu furado, né? Então, oh no, what bad luck. That's such a bad luck. And then we'll have to stop and change the tire. Vamos ter que parar e fazer o quê? Change the tire, trocar o pneu. And then he goes, uh, we can't go on without a spare. We can't go on without a spare. A gente não pode o quê? Continuar without a spare. Lá no Words in Action, we saw spare tire. O que, que é? Lembro. O step, né? Então, ele não pode continuar sem step. But I don't have any idea where the next service station is. O que, que seria esse service station? E aí? É exatamente a oficina. Ele não pode continuar com, sem um step, né? Então, ela fala, ok, we'll find one down the road. We'll soon find one down the road. And then after two miles, look, a service station. Slow down, please. And husband says, after, when they're having the tire fix, ou seja, quando está sendo consertado, I'm terribly tired and hungry. So am I. Let's have something to eat and rest a little while. Então, ele vai, ok, Tá cansado, não aguento mais esse negócio, pneu furado, viagem. Né? Então ele vai o quê? Ele tá dizendo que tá cansado, tá com fome. They're probably gonna rest somewhere. All right, guys. E aí eu pergunto pra vocês, ó. My question for you. What kind of problems can one have while driving on a highway? Have, have? Sacaram aí o have, have? Olha, às vezes a gente nem presta atenção, é? Have, have, muito bem. Depois eu falo mais sobre isso aí. Mas, ó, 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 ó. Ah, muito bem. What kind of problems can one have while driving on the highway? E aí, gente? What kind of problems? Que tipo de problemas can one? Esse one aí não é um, não, tá, gente? É um one. É como se fosse uma pessoa, alguém. E aí, que tipo de problemas a gente, alguém pode ter, ok? While driving on a highway. E aí, conseguem pensar? You can have uh, o que a gente chama de roadkill, que é quando tem animais mortos na pista. You can have flat tire. You can have uh, a superheated engine. Né? Você pode ter um, um superaquecimento do motor. Many things can happen when you're driving down a highway. It's, é por isso que é sempre bom que take care of your car, do a little checkup before you travel. All right, let's go on to write your own sentence. A gente tem aí o quê? Vamos ver essa primeira. She's like her mother in every aspect. Ela é que nem a mãe 
em todos os aspectos. She's like her mother in every aspect. Então, esse like aí é o like de como, né? Uma coisa que é como a outra. Então, she is like her mother. Ela é como a mãe dela em todos os aspectos. Ok? Então, esse é o like como. He likes both blondes and brunettes. Both please him. Então, ele o quê? Gosta tanto de loiras quanto de morenas. As duas. Please. O que é o please? Lembram aí? Both please him. As duas agradam a ele. Né? As duas são agradáveis. As duas têm apelo para ele. Ok? Então, quando a gente está falando both, a gente tinha visto both antes, né? Que significa ambos, né? Dos dois. Então, quando a gente está dizendo, a gente está colocando isso numa frase, né? A gente coloca both, uma coisa, e a outra coisa, né? Ambos isso e isso. Tá? Então, he likes both blondes and brunettes. Ele gosta tanto de loiras quanto de morenas. Ambas loiras e morenas. Tá? Se você quiser traduzir dessa forma, também não está errado. Então, o que, é que a gente vai fazer aí? Vocês vão escrever uma frasinha e eu vou querer ver essa frasinha depois. Ok, gente? Posso confiar em vocês? Muito bem. Então, let's go. Let's move on to agree or disagree. Women should only work in the home. As mulheres só devem trabalhar no lar. Oh, that's a hot topic. <laughs> e aí, gente? What do you think? Do you think women should not work only at home? Do you think women should have their own careers and have their own ambitions and have their dreams? Or do you think women are only supposed to work at home and depend on the husband and take care of the house and the kids and everything? Yay. What do you think? That's a very hard stance to take these days. I will say that I am a feminist. So I believe girls should have their own uh, life, their own ideas, their own dreams, their own careers. Right? So I think... I believe women should be able to take care of their own life. What if they don't have a husband? Should women only uh, have their lives fulfilled if they have a husband? I don't think so. I think women need their own aspirations in life, right? Very good. Moving on then, let's go on to listening practice. When did a fans dream of seeing the Beatles reunited and quando é que o quê? O sonho de um fã de ver os Beatles reunidos terminou. Ooh, let's see what this is about. I'm actually interested in this. Paying attention, let's go. Book 2, Lesson 23, Listening Practice. When did fans dream of seeing the Beatles reunited end? After becoming one of the most popular and successful bands in the history of music, the Beatles' golden era ended when they decided to break up in 1970. But the dream that many fans had of seeing them reunited ended forever, ten years later, when John Lennon was shot to death in New York City. Wow, that, that took a little darker turn than I was imagining. Ok, let's do it. Let's listen again. Presta atenção aí, tá, gente? Let's, let's see. Let's, let's, let's take a listen. Book 2, Lesson 23, Listening Practice. When did fans dream of seeing the Beatles reunited end? After becoming one of the most popular and successful bands in the history of music, the... After becoming one of the most successful bands in the history of music. Ou seja, depois de terem tornado uma das bandas mais populares, o quê? In the history of music. Na história da música. Ok, Beatles realmente foi uma grande banda, né? Então, what happened? What happened? The Beatles' golden era ended when they decided to break up in 1970. Então, the Beatles' golden era, ou seja, a era de ouro dos Beatles, Ended. It ended. It was finished. After they broke up. When did they break up? What was that? Let's see it again. In 1970. In 1970. So the Beatles broke up in 1970. So when was that? Again. Oh, okay, okay. Here, here. Ah, 1970. Okay. That's when the Beatles broke up. 
But the dream that many fans had of seeing them reunited in But the dream many fans had, ou seja, o sonho que muitos fãs tinham of seeing them reunited ended forever. Ten, ended forever. Ten years later. Ten years later. Yay, when is 10 years after 1970? Yeah. 10 years after is 1980. So it ended 1980. But why? When John Lennon was shot to death in New York City. When John Lennon was shot to death in New York City. Wow, that's very, very sad. So that's why the dreams end, the dream ended. I mean, John Lennon was shot. He got killed. And that's why the Beatles can never get reunited. Well, a gente ainda tem, né? Paul, Paul McCartney, still alive. Still making music. I believe Ringo Starr, the drummer, is still alive. But that's it. Uh, George Harrison was a great guitar player, but he died in 2001. Wow, that's, that's very sad. I love the Beatles. I don't know about you guys, but I love the Beatles. Let's go on to talk time. It's time to talk. It's talk time. Então vamos lá, galerinha. É hora do talk time. Vamos prestando atenção aí. And go number one. Number one. Can you understand the road signs? E aí, o que, que são road signs? Olha aí, olha aí. These are road signs. E aí, can you understand all of them? Can you understand all the road signs? There are so many of them. Olha aí. Tem muitos, tá? And also, these are not Brazilian road signs. They are American road signs. Okay. Very good, very good. Então, ó, moving on to number two. How long have you been a driver? Are you a driver? Algum de vocês dirige? Nem sei, hein? E aí? Mas dirigir, dirigir carro? É. I've been a driver for, what, uh, 10 years now? 11 years now. I've been, a, I've been a driver for 11 years. Number 13, what was difficult about learning to drive a car? What was difficult for you guys about learning to drive a car? For me, I think the most, the hardest part was learning how to, uh, how to go back. How to do reverse. Reverse in Portuguese, ré, uh, dar a ré. I think it's the hardest part. I think uh, going reverse is the hardest. Number 14, how long did it take you to learn driving? How long did it take you to learn driving? I think me, it took me about five to six months. I learned how to drive in about five or six months. My mom started teaching me and then I started going to driving school. And I think the whole process took like uh, five months. Uh, number five, did you enjoy traveling long distances? Do you enjoy traveling long distances? Uh, yes, I do. I love just driving on a highway, just going to the countryside and just chilling, listening to some music, put on some chilling music, some chill music and just chill, just relax and drive. Not so much in the city. I don't like driving in the city. Number six, what do you think cars will be like in the future? Well, I already know. Cars will be self-driven. In the future, cars will drive themselves. A ideia é que a gente não precise mais dirigir carro, tá certo, gente? A gente vai ter carros que já com inteligência artificial que conseguem evitar bater nos outros. Uh, number seven, are you in favor of toll gates? O que, que são toll gates? Lembram lá do words in action, pedágio? Are you in favor of toll gates? Um, I wasn't until I traveled to the, United, to the United States and I saw them and I noticed, well, they don't really use toll gates. Uh, they actually have just this little uh, device that knows who you are and then it just uh, debits the money from your account. If you didn't get that, in Portuguese, existem dispositivos lá que eles têm um sensorzinho que você instala no seu carro e para você poder usar a autoestrada, eles detectam o seu carro e automaticamente já tiram dinheiro da sua conta, tá? Você faz um cadastro para poder usar 
as autoestradas expressas, que são aquelas que você paga uma, uma taxazinha por volta de 2 dólares e você usa elas. E, eu, honestly, I think it's fine. I think because they are express, you get to you where you want to go so much faster. If you don't want to use them, you can just take a regular road. Uh, number eight, have you ever broken down on a highway? Você já o quê? Broken down, já quebrou, seu carro já quebrou. Ele está falando you, mas ele está querendo falar aí do seu carro, tá? Então, se você já quebrou na autoestrada, if your car is broken down on a highway, in my case, not my car, but my dad's car. I was traveling with my family and that has happened. Number nine, have you ever run out of gas on a highway? Oh no, that has never happened. We always take precaution and we always fill the tank before leaving. Number ten, can you change a tire? This is important. Aprender a trocar pneu. It's important. Quem me ensinou não foi meu pai. It was my dad. It was my mom. My mom taught me how to change a tire. And I am forever grateful. She did a very good job teaching me. Number 11, do you enjoy John Lennon's songs? Like that very famous one, uh, what was the name? I think it was called Imagine, right? I know it's, a, I know it's kind of a cliche, it's a, kind of an old song, but a lot of people like it. I think it's been, I think it's been, uh, I think it's been a subject of a lot of angry tweets lately. And number 12, who shot John Lennon to death? Ooh, who shot John Lennon to death? Do you guys know? It was this guy, Mark David Chapman. He became very famous for it. He was the guy that shot John Lennon with five uh, shots. He shot John Lennon five times. It was a very sad day. Now, this is a dark lesson. Let's end it. <laughs> Let's review real quick. Today we saw listen, read, and talk. Write your own sentence. Agree or disagree. Listening practice and talk time. Next time, uh, you guys are going to be with uh, Miss Mariah. It's a little surprise there. And uh, you'll see lesson 24, part 1, peace and war. All right. Uh, reminders, mais uma vez, gente. Fiquem atentos às orientações do CRA. Façam as atividades. Tá? Continuem fazendo, vocês estão fazendo um ótimo trabalho, continuem fazendo, porque elas vão contar com presença. All right, guys, this is, this is it for now, this is it for today, I will see you guys soon, uh, and this is Mr. Vitor signing out, bye bye.